So one question I get asked quite a bit is how to tag paid social campaigns. If you look in Google Analytics default channel definitions, this is a really, really important source that lets you know how Google Analytics defines each of your channels. And where that shows up is here in the channels report, my favorite report in Google Analytics. And you'll see your default channel grouping. Here are all of the channels. I have some custom channels in here, like templates and Google Docs. The rest of these are all default channels. And here is where you can see how those are defined. Now you'll notice you have a paid search channel and then you have other advertising. So that's pretty inadequate. I don't like tagging anything as other. It just implies a catch-all. And if you're investing a significant amount into social advertising, you don't want it to go into other advertising. So here's what I recommend. Let's say I wanted to add this page to a Facebook campaign. Here's how I would tag it. I put in a question mark and put in UTM underscore medium equals paid social. Now that plus sign is going to translate into a space in your Google Analytics reports. And then I would tag the source as Facebook com obviously twitter.com if I'm advertising on Twitter pinterest.com if I'm advertising on Pinterest etc etc and then UTM campaign equals I'll just call it test but now a problem here is Google doesn't recognize paid social if you look at those default channel definitions there's nothing in here that says paid social so what you need to do from there is create a custom channel for it and you do that by going into your admin and you can create a custom channel grouping. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go right into our default channel. I have a guide on channel groupings that goes into detail. You want to be very, very careful when customizing your default channel grouping because this is what fuels that awesome channels report. And if you make a mistake, anyone who accesses this Google Analytics account is going to see the result of your mistake. So you just want to be really careful. But then I would define a new channel and I would call it paid social, whatever it is that you want to call it. And then I would define it as medium. I always use matches regex, that way it's not case sensitive. And then I would call it paid social. And this box here is sensitive to regex, so you could drop regex in there. And then you would just choose your color. This has a light background, this has a dark background, what, however you want to define it. Click done and come down here to save. But now one other thing to keep in mind when you customize your default channel grouping is that it takes effect the day that you set it up. Whereas if you define a custom channel grouping, you can apply that to historical data. Then that way, anytime you go into your channels report, you have that distinction. There is one other thing that I'll make a note of here is that when you customize the default channel grouping, it only works in your acquisition report. So you'll see it in this overview report. These are default channels as well as the channels report, but it doesn't work down to your, in your multi-channel funnels reports. I'm not sure why that is, but these look like your default channel groupings, but they're not. So if you want to customize these, then you have to create a custom channel grouping. So you have to, I actually don't recommend going in here and I'll tell you why. So if you create a new channel grouping from here, you have to start from scratch, which isn't ideal. So how I recommend doing it is going into either your assisted conversions report or your top conversion pals report and coming over here to channel groupings and you'll see I've created some test ones and then choose copy MCF channel grouping template. When you do this, this is going to create a copy of your default channel groupings, not with any of your custom one. So you'll notice I don't have my Google Docs channel or my templates channel. So this is just going to create a copy of your standard channels, but then you can add in your new channels. So you would just go in here 
and put in paid social and do what we did before. And then you'll be able to access your paid social channel and all of your custom channels from your multi-channel funnels reports.